so who do you think we should be playing today hmm, i might have an idea i'm not sure if playing beatrix is a good idea right now from what i've heard since i last played her when she was a shotgun killer machine she got nerfed but let's just try her out anyway and see if she's any good in the gold lane so for the emblem let's take assassin and get this so that we can deal more damage for the spell let's use flicker so we can get away and for the items i don't think any of these item sets are good so we'll just buy manually in the game and yeah if you're wondering yes it's going to include a brute force breastplate and i hope i don't have to explain why so let's head over to the gold lane and before that i want to check out one of beatrix's weapons it's the sniper i really want to find out if uh, it's any good right now i mean it's probably good in the right hands but with my aim i am sure that this is gonna be a disaster so uh, i'm not sure why i equipped shotgun and sniper i i wanted to take the uh machine gun kind of weapon but i guess we'll have to just deal with this sniper for now until we clear this wave all right it's a good thing that minions don't move because i don't think i'll be hitting them if they sidestep a little bit let's quickly change to machine gun and i think i still want a sniper just in case so we're just gonna clear this wave this esmeralda shields are very thick i mean she can easily out damage me if she gets close but if i uh, use my sniper and hit her then i could maybe win the lottery and be a millionaire now but for now let's focus on getting some defense now let's start with this magic resist boots so we're just gonna clear the lane for now we'll just make sure that she doesn't bully us too bad here take this all right we took care of that natalia hiding behind her and granger please don't show off your gun i know it's better than my sniper but you really don't have to rub it in my face for our first item, I'm gonna go with Blade of Hepatitis. Obviously for the burst damage and the slow, but wait a minute, there's a team fight here. And I think we can get this Johnson if this Granger would stop showing off his awesome gun that I wish that I have right now. So this is pretty weird. I'm shooting machine gun right now, but I'm carrying a sniper rifle. What the heck? All right, that looks uh, very normal to me, I guess. Now oh, I wonder where Esmeralda went. I mean, oh, okay, there she is, waiting in the bush. How about I show you the power of my 10,000 hours in aim labs? Actually, I don't think that hit her. But now she doesn't have ult, right? She can't jump onto us, so we'll just clear this wave. So do you think she'll let us get this crab? Well, place your bets right now, but actually it's too late. The answer is yes, and I dashed too early. That's why I'm gonna take all the slabs. And joke's on you, I enjoyed all of it. So she doesn't have ult, she can't jump inside here, but I just realized that we don't have flicker. So this is very good for me for going back to base. Now I don't have to wait like two to three seconds for the recall. So after killing me once, it seems like Esmeralda got bored of me and decided to go to the mid lane. So that is actually gonna work for me because we can take down this tower and I can get all the money that we need for later when we finally get our revenge. And look who we have here. It looks like she's back from outer space and uh, she's taking more damage now from us so it's a good thing that we already have one of our damage items and since we did a really good job in pushing the bot lane we now have time to not mind our own business because this granger is gonna give me gold for my demon hunter sword so for the next item we're gonna go with brute force breastplate because um you know beatrix likes to move around a lot and I really don't know where I'm going with this. But we are losing focus. There's actually team fights happening around me while we're talking about a defense item. So let's clear this wave. And I think we can take Turtle right now. But Helkert's still busy running away from the enemies. Well, he failed in that. And two of our teammates died because they were chasing way too deep in the enemy base. So I'm just gonna go here and maybe we can still give this bot lane a little nudge. And maybe we can take this tower too. 
So looking at the minimap, it seems like the enemies are still trying to get the turtle. So they're very distracted right now and I'm very rich from this gold that the tower gave us. So uh, sadly, my job at the bot lane has come to an end. I've taken two of the towers already. So why don't we take mid tower as well? And this Hellcurt is a hopeless case. So let's just get out of there because we can't really do anything about that. But I forgot I got a beef to settle with Esmeralda. And this time, I don't think her thickness will save her. Come on, sniper, just work for me once, please. Ah, there we go. Okay, that was worth it. If you're not planning on killing anybody, so I think we may be late now in saving our bot lane tower, but we can definitely help out this Hellcurt. But I don't help out for free, so you're gonna have to pay me one hero for that. Thank you so much, Mr. Epis Man. Please come again. For the next item, we're gonna go with Malefic Roar because of the penetration and also because it's the only gun in game. And it would really just make sense buying that. So we're just gonna clear this wave. It looks like my teammates are surrounding the Lord area and the cops are onto us probably because I don't really have a uh, license to carry these weapons. But if we kill the cop with these unlicensed weapon, then there's no problem at all. I mean, who's gonna, who's gonna be catching us? Who's gonna be enforcing the law, am I right? And also, you know that's a joke, right? But this team fight isn't a joke, so let's jump right in because it's taking too long for the fight to stop. And we have four people here, so it's a good chance to push and actually not because Esmeralda is there, so take this. Wow, that's a clean headshot again on that Natalia. I don't know where the enemies are, but they're not here. So I'm just gonna make sh uh, make a good use of this sniper because this is probably its best use. And for the final item, where is that new item? Uh, there we go. Okay, I need this for Chang, uh, this radiant armor. So my teammates are doing Lord. I need some uh, distraction. So let's clear this wave and make sure our minions are pushing there. And then maybe some of them will defend the tower and some of them will try to uh, steal, but they are too late. Oh, and look, there's a guy here who's punching my bullets. It's like, uh, it's like Ripley's Believe It or Not. Yeah, you remember that show? Yeah, I'm old. But not old enough to die to this Johnson. He didn't have a passenger? Okay, that's a very bad idea. Because if he did, then we might have gotten two kills. So our minions are pushing. Let's switch to sniper and hit someone. Oh, I think I hit the Granger, but it doesn't really matter, doesn't it? Because uh, he didn't die. Also just realized that we have Lord here, so maybe we can get this tower. Oh, Johnson's immortality is down. Have a taste of America. Oh, he stunned me. Okay, yeah, America joke because guns, am I right? Well, if we can not push bot, we still have minions here in the mid lane and I can just keep on running away because I don't think it's safe anymore. And this Chang'e eh, thinks that my Radiant Armor is a joke. Well, I'm not gonna test it. I'm not gonna tank your shots. Are you kidding me? So yeah, back to the mid lane, just keeping the minion wave flowing into their tower. And I think everyone in the enemy team is blind because Hellkurt likes doing things in the dark. And I think this Johnson's out of gas. There we go. And why stop at a double kill? We probably can get uh, one more of them if my sniper will hit. Ooh, okay. It, it actually hit that time, I think. But again, this sniper is non-lethal. I mean, why do I have three weapons for killing and one weapon for tickling? But I think it's now time to close out the game because I really don't want to use the sniper anymore and I'm just so lazy in changing into another type of weapon. So yeah guys, that is Beatrix. I think she's pretty good as long as you don't get ganked in the gold lane if you choose to take her to the gold lane. And late game, she's really, really strong. I mean, not even sure if we're building her correctly, but with just three items, we can actually deal some damage. As long, of course, if you plan on staying away from the sniper rifle. So again, my name is Shen Mantakizo. Thank you so much for watching this uh, this match. If I've already uploaded it and you're watching it, and leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. You have a nice day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.